The FA Cup returns this week, and Arsenal will be in action tonight at the Etihad Stadium, as Mikel Arteta's team will meet the Premier League defending champions Manchester City, but the Gunners have got bad news ahead of this game. Emil Smith-Rowe is set to miss Arsenal's FA Cup fourth-round game against Manchester City tonight on Friday night at the Etihad Stadium, as per the standard. The 22-year-old midfielder has been ruled out due to a thigh issue, which is not related to the groin injury that he had surgery on in the past. The club have described Smith-Rowe's absence as precautionary, and it is hoped that he will be fit to return for their next game against Everton at the next weekend. Arteta will be hoping that the youngster can make a swift recovery, as he will be needed in the next couple of weeks, as the Europa League will restart. Smith Rowe has been one of the standout players for Arsenal in the past two years, with his energy and creativity in midfield proving invaluable to Arteta's side. His absence could give other players an opportunity to impress against Manchester City, with the likes of Marquinhos or Fabio Vieira now more likely to get minutes on the pitch. Arsenal Arsenal plan for Casido after £60 million bid rejected Arsenal launched a £60 million bid for Brighton midfielder Moises Casido after Chelsea had seen two offers rejected by the Seagulls. The Gunners also saw their proposal rejected, but as reported by Teentic, they plan on returning with an improved offer before the end of the January window. Brighton have stood firm on their stance for Casido, looking for a bid in the region of £75 million. It's said that Brighton are unwilling to sell Casido this month, with Roberto de Zerbi's side looking to secure a European competition qualification place this season. The Seagulls are believed to have had an approach for RB Leipzig star Amadou Hidara rejected so, unless they can sign a replacement for the Ecuador international it looks unlikely that Edu will able able to wrap up deal. Roberto de Zerbi has said this to Oh, I think uh, he's a good guy, he's a... Uh... He's focused only Brighton. I hope he can stay with us until the end of the season, because uh, for my idea, for my opinion, is the best solution for him, for us. Uh, I can understand the the other big team uh, want uh, our uh, young player, uh, McAllister, Moise, Casado, Mitoma. Uh, Solid March, but uh, the decision uh, are uh, only for only to the players and the, the club. I spoke with him yesterday, no uh, Wednesday, and I told him my opinion. I think it's also uh, it's always difficult to change uh, inside of the season because we have. Uh, uh, you can find uh, uh, some problem more, no? And um, for our for our uh, uh, way, is important for him to stay another four month with us. Year old has emerged as the top target to reinforce the midfields of two of the Premier League's biggest clubs, with Chelsea having had a £55 million approach rejected prior to Arsenal's bid. However, Brighton are adamant the Ecuador international is not for sale this month, and it would take an astronomical offer to change their mind. According to the Daily Mail, Casido is disappointed to see Arsenal's latest offer be rejected out of hand, and is prepared to submit a transfer request to secure a dream move to London. Despite Casido's push to leave, Brighton will continue to resist the advances of Arsenal and Chelsea, and it will take an offer of around £80 million to bring them to the negotiating table. The Seagulls lost Yves Bissama last summer for a reduced fee, as his contract only had a year left, while they also sold Leandro Trossard to Arsenal earlier this month and do not want to lose any more players. Chelsea had appeared to cool their interest in Casido after their opening offer was rejected, which prompted links with Everton's Amadou Anana but they could now return with an improved offer.